Okay, subtraction across zeros is always trouble, and it's really important that they understand what they're doing and they're not just crossing out numbers. So when I see students just crossing out numbers, I like to pull out the base 10 blocks. And so what I have them do is build their number, okay? So we're build the number, build our starting number, okay? We're starting with 300. So we build that with our base 10 blocks. And then we're going to remove, we're going to take away um, 186. So I actually have them physically move it to another pile. Sometimes I have like, you know, a circle or two whiteboards or whatever. So they're going to start, we can take away 186. So we're going to move 100 over here and then they get stuck. And they're going to start in the hundreds place and that's okay because we're wanting to build understanding. We'll move to the algorithm later. Alright, so we take away our 100 and they're like, well I can't take away 8 tens and I, because I don't have 8 tens. And so that's where we need to understand we do have eight tens. It's just in a different form. And so what we need to do is we need to make a fair trade. Okay, so at that point, I let them trade out their 100 flat for 10 rods. I've discovered that it is helpful for them to literally have to get up and walk across the room and go to, quote, the base 10 bank. Um, because I had it in the middle of the table before and they would like lose track of what, what, what was their starting number. So if they have to get up and walk across the room, that just seemed to help. Just a little management temp there. Okay, so now, okay, I'm wanting to take away eight tens. I can remove eight tens and put it in this pile over here. Alright, but I need six ones. Urgh. I don't have six ones, and that's where we've got to stress to our kiddos. Yeah, you do. It's just in a different form. We're going to have to unbundle this um, this rod. We need this ten to be ten ones instead of one ten, and we know that's equivalent because we've explored equivalency. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just making sure. All right. So now that I have ten ones, I can remove one, two, three, four, five, six. I can remove those six ones. So we started with 300. We took away 186 and we're left with 114. And so that is one way to do um, subtraction. To re I think it's a great way to teach subtraction, but even if they already know the algorithm, this is a great way to build understanding for those kiddos who are just crossing out numbers and they don't really know why. Thanks.